dreaming of an amazing data science career, here are 10 basic prompts you need to know. As a starting point, I will import pandas spd. Don't forget, if you haven't installed pandas yet, just write pip install pandas into your favorite terminal. I have prepared a comma separated values file with players and their statistics in the FIFA game and I will present you the most important pandas function on this data file. Let's begin. I will read and store this CSV file into variable called FIFA. I will do it with this command and in the brackets you just enter the path to the file or simply the name FIFA underscore data does dot not does dot CSV. Let me print this out. Print out FIFA. Now you can display the data frame. It is there. There are a lot of columns, all the attributes of the players, and thousands and thousands of rows. The interest in you rises to the top, and you want to know what else you can read from this data from this data frame so you want to describe no you don't want to you want to print out the shape you can do it that but that shape now you have you had it before but you now you have it once again, why not? You want to describe the data file. You will do it just FIFA that describe brackets and you can see there are that many players. For example, age, the mean of age is this, the maximum age is 45. What the fuck? 45 and playing professional football. Yeah, that's very interesting. We will look at that certain stat later in this video. You got idea. You want to know the first 14 players. You will write FIFA.head and the brackets to call the function. If you want to write a number here, it will display first five rows but you can easily specify number of rows for example as i said 14 i don't know if i said 14 but 14 now we have first 14 players or you want to know who is the last player so if you write fifa.tail function it will write also the last five players but you specify number one only the last one oh there is a 16, yo man, age 16, that's, that's in, impressive, that's impressive, very impressive, but his name is uh, Chicken Nugget, so that is not impressive. You saw that there was a player with age 45, now you want to know more about him, how to print out his row and all the stats from his name. So you wanna have the player, not player, I will call it oldest, oldest player index. You will get it by writing FIFA dot and in brackets H or you can do it like this dot and H. It is the same, just different syntax. In the brackets, you write H and max 
is giving the max value, but you don't want the value, you want index. Now we have the index of the draw. But before I finish this, I will show you something. You can write out only one column. It is done like this, like FIFA, as I show before, FIFA dot name. Now it will showcase all the names of the players with their index. Now you want to know their, also the ages. And it is easier to do this like this. These brackets are, I think, more useful than just that. It differentiates between the functions and it is more readable. So write age, not age, I write name and to to access two columns simultaneously, write double square brackets, uh, name, comma, and age. Now, when you print this out, it will print out also the age of a certain player, of every player, better to say every player. And now we can finish our job. But before that, just simple trick, shift plus arrows, you will outline a block of code, then press control plus key, control plus C, and this is all commented. Now when we have an index of that oldest player, we can specify his row and to look at this row, there is another method, the data frame dot lock and number of that index. Now we can print this row. Who is the oldest player? Not the index. I don't want to print out the index. I want to print out the row. Let's see, the oldest player with age, with impressive age, 45, is O. Perez. That's interesting. What else we can do? We can look for all the names of the columns. It is unlike columns, And I will just delete this. Don't worry if I delete something whole code will be in the description there is a link to a github repository so you can check after this video write your own code that's the best thing write your own programs with your own ideas that's where you learn the most so now i can print out the columns columns here are everything like in which club they are playing, their name, age, also nation, nationality, wage, like is their acceleration, I don't know, jumping, oh, jumping. And for how much money they were bought, like jumping is interesting. So I will show you another thing. FIFA, double square brackets age jumping run the code and you can see no age i don't wanna know age name jumping now you can see messi jumps 68 units i don't know in which units it is calculated but units and ronaldo can jump 30 units more like that's crazy let's look how many players can jump higher than messi it will be a lot but first first thing i wanted to check how many players can jump higher than ronaldo but there was none i don't know why <laughs> so you can done it player jump player then messi and data frame 
you want to get the names and if you write the second square bracket there is a condition for the searching for the searching so fifa square brackets jumping is higher than 68 if i it is not done if i print these players players it will print out another data frame but we want to count how many players are there so there is an easier way so if you write that values it will change this data frame to a list of names of dead players so now when I run the code, there are lists of dead players with one dimension, so you can easily iterate through that list with a normal for loop. Right, the counter is equal to zero, initialize the counter, then for, for player in players, I will call it players. Play. Yes. Players jump is higher than Messi. For every player, you will add one to a counter. Now you will print counter the number of players that can jump higher than Messi. That many players and can jump higher than messy explanation mark and present the value there is a miss no there is no mistake here is it seven thousand four hundred eighty one players can jump higher than messy in a fifa game simple is that Pandas is really magical. There is nothing that cannot be done with this library. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, write it down into the comment section and like, subscribe and ciao.